Good morning. So, let me just get myself set up here. I don't know. This. Uh, let me just stand here. This probably is a better view anyway. So, let me get my, I got to get all organized here. So, yesterday, in our church parking lot at Mulberry, it was a wild time. So I want to show you a couple pictures of the wild day we had. Did you show the other ones? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we had a we had a lot of wild people. Got the have those Baylor Bears. And who would have known Jim Adams was a wild thing? I don't know. You know, we make our ministry plans a year in advance. So in 2020, we did not have a trunk or treat board the ark in our ministry plan. Wasn't in, in the plan at all. But you know what? Something happened in our nation and it changed our plans, didn't it? And the cool thing, and Pastor Les is going to be talking about this today, about the wild side of God. You know, Paul had a wild ride, didn't he? Life went in ways he did not expect. One of the things I love best about Trinity Baptist Church is when things don't go the way they're supposed to, you guys show up. Yesterday in our parking lot, we gave almost out 100 bags of candy to children who came through. And guess what they needed? They needed to feel the love of Christ through people in their community. They really did, and they really felt it. The smiles on their faces and the people saying, thank you for giving us something to do, something to bring our kids to, something that's positive and happy was beautiful. And, you know, sometimes we can think things are really bad, and I'm sure Paul did at times, Pastor Les, but he always looked to God and God made something beautiful out of something that was really hard and difficult. And so I just want to personally thank you on behalf of the kids. And I've gotten pictures. Sadie, did you get a lot of candy yesterday? Yeah, a whole lot, like bags of it. Uh, the Sunday school was very hyper today, but that's good. But it's the body of Christ that when things don't go as planned, you show up. And I want to say thank you for everybody who brought candy bags, who showed up yesterday, and who showed our community that when things are rough, we still believe in Jesus Christ, and we want to show that to them. So thank you for that, and thank you on behalf of our children for doing that. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for the blessings you give us. And Lord, things get wild and crazy sometimes in our life, and they're not things we planned. And in a church, we make plans. <laughs> We make them out a year, five years, ten years. You change those things sometimes. And, Lord, I thank you for the ability to adapt. I thank you for a group of people who say, hey, we want to move where the spirit is moving, and if we need to adapt those plans, we're going to do that to be there for our people and to be there for the people in this community to show God's love. Thank you for all the blessings you give us and that you made an opportunity out of something different that we would have never done but we got to meet new people and see people that maybe we would have never got to interface with. So thank you, Lord, for the opportunities you give us. In your name we pray, amen.